year's record-breaking snowstorms and this year's warm and sunny Valentine's Day. The extreme weather changes have indeed drawn people's attention to global warming. The thing is, the climate change is such a big global thing that it's hard to relate to it and see how it affects locally on my me and my neighborhood. Climate change is the greatest threat to future generations, stated President Obama in the State of the Union speech January this year. As the nation takes action, our town of Brookline raises awareness through its Climate Week. This year, the sixth annual Brookline Climate Week is focusing on transportation. There'll be electric bikes, there'll be electric cars, um, exploring mobility and the role of transportation that plays into reducing a huge carbon footprint in American culture. Brookline Climate Week is also important to the younger generation. Dior said that over 60 children have signed up to tell their stories and ideas of climate change. We sense a much bigger awareness. Of course, we always want people to do more. And this is an important way of teaching children to have hope that adults are taking responsibility and will um, take action small or large. Combating global warming cannot be done individually, but rather through the coalition of people. And we depend upon not just the people in Brookline, but people of all ages from all regions to be aware of our efforts and to join in if they can to understand how we want to teach hope, how we want to teach about action and involvement, and how we want to teach um, getting results in the climate movement. In addition to the fun and diverse events during the Climate Week in Brookline, there are also art installations throughout the community to express the urgency of taking actions for our climate. From Brookline Directive Group, I'm Chen Chen Zhao.